Hi, and welcome to Gene Clips. My name is Andy, and I am a genetic counselor at Children's National Hospital. Today, I'll be talking about exome sequencing. Exome sequencing, also known as whole exome sequencing, is a genetic test that looks at thousands of genes at once. It is often recommended for individuals with complex symptoms where a smaller genetic test would not be likely to reveal a diagnosis, or when other tests have not identified a genetic diagnosis. In our bodies, we have about 20,000 genes. Exome sequencing looks for changes in the spelling of a gene. Our genes are made up of segments called exons and introns. Exons are the expressed part of the gene, and we know that the majority of genetic conditions are found in this part of our genes. All the exons put together are called the exome. When available, it is helpful to send samples from the patient's biological mother and biological father to see if the genetic change has been inherited from either or both parents, or whether it is a new change in the person. Results may include one or two of the following. A positive result, meaning a gene change was found that can explain one or more of the person's symptoms. A negative result, meaning no gene changes that explain the person's symptoms were found, or a variant of uncertain significance, meaning a gene change was found that could possibly explain the clinical symptoms of the person, but we do not have enough information to confirm it as a positive result. In addition, results for genetic conditions that have known treatments or screening available can be reported as well. These are called secondary findings as they are secondary to the person's current clinical signs. Because exome sequencing is looking at a large amount of information, Results typically take longer than other genetic tests. It is important to know that while exome sequencing is a large genetic test, it still may not diagnose all genetic conditions. Thank you for watching Gene Clips. Mm -hmm.